What's going on guys? Kevin here, back with another video talking about a uh, collaborative effort, <laughs> collaborative effort that I have been really looking forward to. Today I'm gonna be talking about Song for the Mute and their newest Adidas collaboration. Uh, Song for the Mute is a brand based out of Australia, founded by uh, like Melvin, uh, Tanaya, and uh, like Lena Tai, I believe. I might be pronouncing them wrong, uh, but they are a co-founding uh, pair who have uh, honestly have made one of the best Adidas collaborations last year with their Shadow Turf. I did a review of all three colorways. I'll put a link up somewhere or a link in the description. Um, that was my favorite Adidas collaboration last year, flat out. I thought it was amazing, I thought it was the best. The Honeycomb colorway, as well as the Midnight colorway and the Wonder Oxide colorway, all of them were fantastic. Uh, I still have my Honeycomb pair that I actually took with me to Korea. I actually took uh, two of their Adidas collaborations to Korea. Uh, today I'm gonna be talking about their Campus 80, which is their newest collaboration. Uh, they previewed it, uh, I believe, Paris Fashion Week of last year. Uh, they previewed three colorways of the campus as well as one more colorway of the Shadow Turf. Um, I talked about it in one of my coffee breaks, uh, but they released two of their uh, campuses and their other one I believe is coming later this year or early next year, same with the other Shadow Turf. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be talking about their Campus 80. So it's a very interesting pair of shoes. Let me pull out the box. They released this sort of uh, tan cream colorway as well as a black and green colorway. Uh, here's the box. I'm glad that this year they were able to uh, talk to Adidas and get a special, special box, special packaging for it. Um, for a lot of their, or for all of their Shadow Turfs, it was just a normal Adidas Originals box. And I'm glad that Adidas finally was like, you know what, these guys deserve a little bit extra. So, song for the Adidas. And on the back side, it reads, song for the mute, a long form story, a male and female cast, seasons as chapters, never one the same, narratives told with beautiful fabrics and experimental process. Um, these released early, I believe they released in their their flagship store in Sydney end of October and they released first yeah no I think they released on Adidas like for no last week of October as well um, and then I was able to actually take this pair as well as the shadow turfs to Korea so I put a decent amount of miles in this and I have plenty to say uh, so the box it's fairly simple uh, the tag just fell out. So fairly simple, like Adidas paper as well as a round style uh, rope lace. It also has this song for the Adidas paper, which I thought was really nice. Almost has like a, uh, a paintbrush effect to it. So I'm gonna put the box away. Uh, I will talk about sizing in just a second, but here is the black, uh, blue, brown colorway. Uh, very, very interesting uh, sole, I will say. It's definitely not anything that I've seen before. There's the other pair. I do really like the mint green that they used uh, on the insides of both shoes. Uh, they use the mint green a little bit more on this pair where it covers the ankle. But let me go over the details of the cream shoe first. And here it is, the Adidas Campus Song for the Mute. Um, so starting with the outside, everything on the upper is a pretty soft, cotton canvas uh, everything has that raw edge to it so it kind of gives that grunge sort of aesthetic uh, the three stripes here are also of a fabric material but it's more of like a uh, fleece material i don't know how to exactly describe it um, the lace holes are all reinforced with metal 
um, and then there's also this perforated mesh right along the uh, toe in the toe box area uh, and on the outside they have that stitch detail song for the mute 002 uh, the uh, Shadow Turf had Song for the Mute 001, there we go, and then the material design is quite different. This one, it has that same sort of aesthetic. I will say that the three stripes detail, it's also the same here, it's that same sort of fleece material. So I think they carry that, um, that ideology and thought process forward. So going back to their most recent release has this pull tab in the back that most campuses don't have, an Adidas tag here, as well as the tri or the Three Stripes logo. On the outside, it's that fleece material. On the inside, it's this flat textured uh, fabric, almost like a herringbone fabric. And on the tongue as well, that huge song for the mute tag that they had also on the shadow turfs. And the ankle detail has this sort of um, six dot pattern right along the heel. The inner is lined with a faux uh, faux leather. Uh, so it's it's uh, like relatively soft, but not as soft as maybe real leather or like anything else like that. Uh, and something that I did note and that I am a little bit disappointed on is with a bit of wear, the inner um, the insole actually rubbed off very, very easily. Um, that's something that I didn't see with uh, my my Shadow Turf release. This is the insoles of the Shadow Turf release after quite a bit of wear and it just did not wear down whatsoever. Everything is still intact while the campus one looks like maybe they swapped a different sort of ink or something like that, but I am a little bit disappointed. On the inside, the inner tag says song for the Adidas as well. Um, and everything's lined with that sort of mint green color. Uh, one of the most striking details of the collaboration is the sole. So for this uh, light canvas colorway, uh, they used a crepe hour layer, uh, but the bottom of the sole is still that classic uh, Adidas herringbone traction that they use for, I think the Superstar, uh, as well as the Campus. And I'm sure a few other uh, shoes use the same sort of traction pattern. Swapping over to the black, dark navy blue colorway. Um, so this black canvas does in certain lights look like a really, really dark um, navy blue, but here's that same fleece uh, fabric detailing. Same sort of metal uh, eyelets. Oh yeah, uh, on one of the shoes it says Adidas with the truffle logo, then on the other shoe it says Song for the Mute. Uh, same sort of mint green color. SFTM002, nothing on the other side. And this is, again, that sort of crepe pattern, uh, but this is just full rubber. Um, not sort of not transport the not transparent like the cream color uh, and then it looks like it was fused right down the middle right there and again the same classic uh, campus uh, look now talking strictly about this pair which I'm assuming will also apply for that for this pair I have a few I guess points to talk about so I did bring this to my trip to Korea and I did wear them relatively often, but not as often as I originally had thought I would wear it. So my full opinion is that the sizing is a little bit wonky on this pair. I usually get an eight and a half, um, maybe even sometimes an eight uh, on Adidas campuses, but most of the time I get an eight and a half. I got an eight and a half on this and this fits very, very long. Um, and you can tell by the way that I laced it up that like I almost, I kind of had to like really, really pull on the lace and then I would even have to use the very, very top eyelet. Um, I've seen a lot of people wear this with the same sort of uh, uh, opinions where you kind of have to lace it up all the way because it fits, I mean, it even looks a little bit long, but it fits long, um, but it doesn't fit, it doesn't really fit 
like wide either. It fits kind of narrow and kind of long. Um, I'm sure maybe I could have gone down to a size eight and then I would have been better. But even if I size down to a size eight, it might have felt a little bit long for me in my opinion. Um, and another thing that I had originally thought is that I thought this was gonna be a full crep sole, uh, which I thought maybe it could have been the idea, maybe there was uh, complications with like the R&D of it, um, but I was a little bit disappointed when I initially got this in that it was only a crep outer layer and then just, uh, just a classic traction sole on the bottom because uh, I think a crep outer layer would really lend itself to some comfort it'll be kind of cool um i i thought that it would have been something different but it's fine and also the crep would have given it a bit more comfort uh campuses aren't the most comfortable shoes around um it is a shoe from the 80s uh and again not much technology there other than like polyurethane and um that's about it pretty much uh, I do really like the aesthetics of this shoe. I think it gives it that 90s to 2000s uh, grunge sort of look. The idea is there, but I feel like maybe the execution, maybe it just wasn't mending well with me. Uh, I do also wish that I sized down at least a half size for this. That's, that's my main gripe. Uh, for this release. I am kind of excited for the green colorway because my favorite colorways were this cream color as well as the green color. Um, for this color, I do like it, but I do think I'm gonna probably send this back because I just feel like this is the better colorway of the two and I, if, if I were to get the green color, I would size down to my correct size. Um, so that is something to keep in mind. Uh, but I do overall like the look of the shoe itself. I do like the build of it. The, it, it has no flaws for me um, in terms of build. There weren't really any loose stitching, misstitching, or any glue stains or anything like that on my pair, uh, which I'm sure could be very, very easily visible. Um, if you had glue stain issues, I'm sure on a canvas shoe, you'd be able to see it bleeding immediately, but uh, no problems here. Uh, I do wish that the insoles were uh, printed the way that they printed the Shadow Turf insoles, but I understand production and things change and the material that lays on top of the insole might be different from this, etc. Um, so yeah, I would keep all of those things in mind. Uh, but overall, I think this is a very wonderful second entry into the Song for the Mute Adidas collaborative history. Uh, like, let me know what you guys think for the Song for the Mute. Um, do you guys like it? Are you guys considering picking it up? Uh, let, let me know in the comments down below. And I guess, as always, talk to you guys later. Peace.